Well, the next step in our Joomla workflow is number four, extend. Now I know we've done a lot of work getting that content in, and it does take work, but it's going to be worth it as we continue to build our site. If you didn't complete the content step, I'm going to encourage you before we go on to go back and finish it up, simply because a lot of the content is what we're going to use in order to show how Joomla manages content. Well, you have to have some. There are five different kinds of extensions in Joomla, and I mentioned that earlier on in the course, and they come in many, many categories, as you can see on the screen. There are five kinds of extensions. Components, which are large scripts like forms, galleries, things like that. Modules are smaller scripts. These display menus, latest articles, recent forum posts, and usually modules will take some small script and put it on your site either in a sidebar, which is called a module position, or even in your content. Number three is the templates. Templates change the site design. And if you remember from the introduction to content management systems, templates do not change your content. And when we're adding content, we're not designing our site. Four, plugins help components by doing a variety of tasks. And then number five, languages. Joomla has been translated into dozens of languages, and it truly is a global content management system. Well, let me explain extensions this way. Components are like the engine in your car. They do a lot of the heavy work. They make your site go. Modules are like the dashboards. They display information. Plugins are like the spark plugs in your car. They help with small tasks, but without them, your car won't run. And then the template is your paint job. I guess if we wanted to continue that through, languages would provide the translations for all of the information in your car. So Joomla comes with a whole bunch of extensions. There are 10 components, 25 modules, 53 plugins, and four templates. Now, don't worry, you don't have to know how all of those function in order to get Joomla working. Most of them just kind of quietly sit in the background and work for you. But we're going to go through each one in the upcoming videos. In the next video, then, we're going to talk about the components that come with Joomla.